Hi there. Now, we're given that the first three terms of another sequence are also 2x, x plus 4, and 2x minus 7, respectively. And we're asked to verify that when x equals 8, the terms form a geometric progression and find the sum to infinity in this case. And then in the second part, we go on to find the other possible value of x that also gives a geometric progression. OK, well, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So to do the first part, OK, of this, let's just put this as A. Then what I'm going to do is just let x equal 8 and we'll just see what terms we've got. OK, we'll put the terms R. And if we put x equals 8, the first term here is going to be 16. The next term would be 8 plus 4, which is 12. And then the next one, 8 to the 16 minus 7, which is going to give us 9. Now, if I look at each of the ratios, the common ratios between each pair of terms, if it's a geometric progression, I would expect that ratio to be exactly the same. Well, if I work out the ratio for the first two terms, that's going to be 12 divided by 16. What does that come to? Well, I can reduce this down to 3 quarters if I divide top and bottom by 4. And if I take the next ratio between these two terms, that would be 9 divided by 12. Dividing top and bottom by 3 gives me, again, 3 quarters. So they do share a common ratio of 3 quarters. So if I just write here since, OK, each of these pairs of terms um, share a common ratio. OK, common ratio. That common ratio is 3 quarters. OK, 3 quarters. Therefore, what we've got is a geometric progression, a GP for short. Now it says, if this is the case, then what is the sum to infinity? Well, we should be familiar with the fact that the sum to infinity of a geometric progression is always equal to the first term, which is a, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, providing that the common ratio lies between minus 1 and 1. Well, it certainly does. It's 3 quarters. So a, the first term was 16, so we've got 16 divided by 1 minus the common ratio, 1 minus 3 quarters. So we've got 16 divided by a quarter, and that is 64. OK? Well, that's the first part then. Let's just border this off, and we'll move into the next part then, part B. What we've got to do now is find the other possible value of x that also gives a geometric progression. So if it is a geometric progression then, what I can expect is that all the terms share this common ratio. In other words, if I divide x plus 4 by 2x, I should get exactly the same result as dividing 2x minus 7 by x plus 4. It would give us that common ratio. Much the same as what I did here when I took x equals 8. So let's just set up that equation. It'll be x plus 4 divided by 2x, OK, is going to be in the same ratio then as 2x minus 7 divided by x plus 4. And so what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 2x and x plus 4. And if I do that, I'll have x plus 4 multiplied by another x plus 4, x plus 4 all squared then. And that's going to equal 2x multiplied by 2x minus 7. And then I'll expand the brackets out. We've got x squared here. We've got 4x plus another 4x, so that's going to be plus 8x. And then you've got 4 times 4, which is 16. Expanding this bracket, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 
and 2x times minus 7 is minus 14x. And I can see that I've got a quadratic here, so I'm going to subtract x squared, subtract 8x and subtract 16 from both sides, make it equal 0 then. So we we'll have 4x squared minus x squared, which is 3x squared. We've got minus 14x minus another 8x, that's minus 22x. And then just subtract the 16, so that's minus 16 equals 0. Now this will factorise, so put two brackets here. It's going to equal 0. We'll have a 3x and an x to give the 3x squared. And for the minus 16, I'll put plus 2 here and minus 8 there. So 2 times minus 8 is minus 16. And we've got 3x times minus 8, which is minus 24x, and then plus 2x, that's minus 22x. So I can see that each of these factors would be equal to 0. If 3x plus 2 equals 0, then we would have x equaling minus 2 thirds. And for x minus 8 equaling 0, we would have x equals 8. So find the other possible value of x. Well, it's got to be x equals minus 2 thirds. Okay, x equals minus 2 thirds is that other value.